Hey, welcome back to Fixing Things. I got a company uh, party to go to, and we have themes. And this year's theme is uh, movies. And me, I like Marvel Comics. So I'm thinking of going as uh, the dad bod Thor. But I gotta have me a, either a, a hammer or the Stormbreaker axe. Okay, Monior and the Stormbreaker, one or the other. So it's easy to go in that costume because I can just wear my, my Jamba Bottoms, my Croc, and a uh, you know, uh, just a relaxy outfit. And I think that would be fun. But I gotta have an ax. I gotta have Stormbreaker. So in this episode of Fixing Things, we're gonna make a life-size, I don't know if it's gonna be a replica, but it'd be okay looking, I guess, if it doesn't fall apart. Stormbreaker. Dang. I can't wait to get started. I gotta, I gotta find me some junk. All right, if we're gonna make Stormbreaker, I want it to look at least decent anyway. So what I got, I got me some styrofoam pieces, some scraps, not really scraps, and it's $60 a sheet. The stuff's expensive. Uh, I got a piece of the tree that we uh, cut down that the, the birdhouse, the duck house is, is on, uh, which he has been using the duck house, he or she. But this is a piece of beech nut, it's pretty hard wood. I figure we'll cut it down about 40 inches or so and uh, find some way to attach it. We'll take the styrofoam, carve the shape into it, and then Maybe have to glue some to make parts of it thicker. Yeah. Maybe put some fiberglass resin on it so we can paint it and make it look shiny. Take the grinder, carve it out. Sounds like a plan. Let's start designing this thing. All right, so I'm thinking we're gonna make something about like this big-ish, right around a 12 foot, 12 inch head this way and the lengthwise somewhere around 20 inches maybe, pretty thick. All right, after reviewing a few pictures, I made Stormbreaker a little taller here and pulled this section forward to give this a shorter appearance. And then this looks, gotta look like a wedge. So we're gonna come from this line here, come out, and this will be the back uh, hammer looking edge of the piece. All right, before I start gluing my ax together, I wanna test some PVC glue on this PVC stuff. Let's see if it glues it.
All right, so I'm gonna go inside, get me a sandwich. When we come back, hopefully this thing will be solid. Then we're gonna carve this thing into the shape it needs to be. Hopefully it's gonna hold together or something. All right, I'm back from having my uh, sandwich. Let's see how this thing turned out. Not exactly perfect. Maybe it would have been better using uh, the contact cement. Let's see if we can't get the same shape. Got my safety goggles on. I think it's time to do some grinding on this bad boy. All right, so don't use PVC glue. It melts it up to pieces and it falls apart. Now we gotta do some more figuring. <clears throat> All right, I uh, sanded the other side down, kind of flat, and I used some uh, latex caulk on it, uh, silicone latex caulk. And it takes about 30 minutes to, to harden up a little bit. So I got it kind of clamped down to hold it in place. And I think we'll go ahead and work on this edge. So what we need to do is find the half mark and try not to grind past that. I'll put a Nice tapered edge on it. About up to there. Don't want to get too aggressive with it. Right, now we need to put some big fat tapers on it right here on all the four corners. I think that's starting to look like Stormbreaker. <clears throat> All right, so here's my handle for Stormbreaker. I think I'm gonna cut it right here where it's got this kind of a gnarly looking thing.
think I'm wanting to incorporate this V here a little bit, but I want this notch for this to come all the way down. So we're, we're gonna cut here and bring it up at an angle, even though this is not the ax handle. I think we should cut it off right about here. stuff out. Probably take the grinder. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be all right. All right, so here's where the, the ax head will slide in. And the piece that I cut off, I made a notch to go around that piece right there. Drilled me a hole through it. And I'm gonna be using some three inch decking screws to go all the way through the styrofoam into the pores board on the other side. Also got some holes pre-drilled a little bit so that it will uh, not crack because we don't want it to crack the wood. But I mean it's just <laughs> it's just a, a prop. It's just for a, a costume. It's not going to re be real. It doesn't have to have much strength. I think it's going to be fine. We'll wrap some twine on it. Probably light coat this with a little bit of uh, black a little bit just a just a, just a little bit to give it a darker look it's getting cold I'm going inside man man this, this bad stuff right there styrofoam it's good for you plastics all right, so here's Stormbreaker's head on the table, the handle, and it's cold and the stuff is not setting up very good. So I'm just gonna lightly put it here in the vise and let it set up overnight. Hopefully by tomorrow, the high tomorrow is only gonna be 39 degrees. I think I gotta take a shower. Man, I was hoping to go a whole week. All right. But I think it's turned out pretty good. It doesn't like accepting the primer. So anything that has alcohol, gasoline, or petroleum products in it melts into the, to the uh, plastic. I'm thinking maybe Bondo may work on it so hopefully by tomorrow all that will dry up and maybe we'll put a coat of bondo on it i don't think i can put fiberglass resin on it because i think fiberglass resin will melt it but i'm gonna i'm gonna check i'll probably go online tonight and do some research <coughs> do some research on it and see what's going on my uh heater in here it was keeping up pretty good till I found out I left the door open. All right, so I'll see you all in the AM. Lightly spray the wood a little bit, give it a darker, darker sheen to it.
not bad. And I've been spray painting primer lightly so it doesn't melt the, and then taking my heat gun and drying the primer off. All right, time to put some paint on there. Just a light coat. Don't want it to saturate and melt up. The Rust-Oleum coats really well. You don't have to put it heavy. When we hit the second coat, that's gonna be the magic. If I was doing this to, to make it look excellent, man, I would have put Bondo on it and everything else. And it would have looked just like steel. But it's only for a company Christmas party. All right, just taped off some access lines. And um, we're not gonna like paint paint it. We're just gonna, just gonna, just gonna dust it, make some accent. All right, let's see about putting, got a lot of overspray on my handle, so I guess be all right. Let's put the handle on now. All right, so I got all this pre-drilled. Now we got to put some strapping on it. All right, so I got some uh, sisal. Kind of looks, got a natural thing to it. Just gonna, not gonna paint it black, just gonna. I'm painting it black. But... This will, we're going to drill some holes in the uh, wood and wrap this around it and do something like that. Hot wood. <laughs> oh, that's my 
hard wood right there. Stonebreaker, come here. Whoa, did you see that? That's a bad mamba jamba right there. That's not bad. Kind of cartoony, but it's okay. Like I said, it's only for uh, uh, our Christmas party. I'm going as the Fat Thor. I'm already fat, and I already got a beard, got some long hair, and I'll put some pajama bottoms on and my uh, silver hoodie and a uh, something or other. I think my dogs are outside. Want to come in? Hold on. I mean, I probably should have bought more than three feet of wire uh, rope. Maybe I'll glue some vines on it or something. But I think it's all right. Hey, like and subscribe to the channel. I make all kinds of crazy stuff. My heater in here is working good. Go back and see that video. It's below freezing outside right now, and in here it's 70 degrees. Uh, actually, it says 71 degrees. Stormbreaker. Oh man, that chops Thanos heads off, you know, right there. Groot's arm. Stormbreaker. Thanks through Christ who strengthens me. Even make Stormbreaker. God bless each and every one of you. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Man, we're going to have a good Christmas party, that's for sure. Fat Thor. What? God bless you. I'll see you on the next episode of Fixing Things with Pastor. I got to get back on the, the me haul truck. Got my interior to put in. Got to do the body work on the rear end. Got to get it done. I don't think I'm going to get it done before the, the new year. But you know something? I still got to get it done. I want to be driving that bad boy. It's actually it's ready to drive now. But I'm going to drive one that's done. <laughs>